Right, okay. So, hello, uh, FoodTube. Welcome to our live show with London Food Tech Week. Will you all say hello to uh, FoodTube, please? Come on, give them a wave. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make an espresso martini tiramisu. So come through. We're at the Hoxton Hotel in Shoreditch. And uh, we're here for London Food Tech Week. So uh, this is our live, the live team here. Say hello. Wave. Come on, Tom. He's pulling it all together. Uh, we've got Louis on camera. And we've got all the people that were here for London Food Tech Week. They're coming through. Now, I'm going to show you how to make an espresso martini tiramisu. It's a recipe that I dreamed up the other day. So, I'm gonna try and remember everything. So the first thing we need is, we're gonna do it, make it slightly healthier. And so what we're going to do is, I'm gonna put about 400 grams of natural yogurt in. Now normally, traditionally, with this recipe, you would use only uh, double cream. But we've gone half and half, just because we're trying to sort of make it a little bit healthier. So 400, about 400 millilitres of double cream. And then vital ingredient is you need your mascarpone in here. So let's just go over here. Now it's slightly terrifying because I, I'm the food busker. I cook on the street, people try my food, and then they tell me what they think it's worth. And I'm used to having a bit of an audience, but not this big. Just have a look at this lot. Come on, give them a wave, you lot. Oh my God. They're being very British. Okay, so, um, so I've got my mascarpone in, I've got my double cream in, and I've got my yoghurt in. Now, I've got some coffee liqueur. I'm going to put 100 mils in. So we just sort of... Yeah, that's about 100 mils. And then it's an espresso martini, so you need some vodka. And so I'm going to put 25, 50 mils of vodka in there. It's important to get that mud up. Now, I need a, uh, somebody from the audience. I need uh, somebody to help me. Come on, come on, somebody. Let's, uh, right, in you come. Come on, first one to put it. Hello, what's your name? Millie. Hello, Millie. John, nice, nice to see to you. Me. Great glasses. Thank I like you. it. Okay, now, do you mind getting dirty? Well, you're a girl, you don't mind getting messy at all, <laughs> do you? So you need to go slow and slowly mix those ingredients in. Okay. Okay, let's just do a little bit of that. Right, slowly, slowly. I'm just going to stand over here, okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, Millie's an expert. Building good. Okay, we get them all mixed in. It's important as a head chef to have a commie chef, yes? Okay, I like it, that's it. A bit faster. A bit faster, and really get it all incorporated. I like it, I like it. That's the double cream as it whisks will thicken, and that's gonna have that nice set action that we need. Millie, you're an expert. Can I turn around and talk to Millie, please? Come on. Come on, come on. Perfect. Well done, I'm very impressed. Are you looking for a job? Yeah. Really? Part time, clear off, I need full time. <laughs> right, okay, round of applause for Millie again, please, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Millie, thank you so much. Okay, so let's just now come and have a butcher's at this. So that's all mixed together, and all those beautiful ingredients are there. Now that is naughty town right there, absolutely delicious. So let's just put that over there. Now, this is an Italian dessert with coffee. So. I've got a coffee business where we put really good coffee into pods. I'm going to use that. And what I've done is, is I've created a load of espresso. Now, espresso is really cool because it's basically, it's like a king of coffee. It's um, a coffee extracted under pressure. And what happens when you do that is that you collect all the natural oils that are released in the roasting process. And that collects and forms as a crema on the top. And that's got a lot of great flavours that are going on. So I've made about... 10 cups of espresso, and I've dropped them in there. I'm just going to make one more. And you can see it's got this beautiful crema that comes on the top. And that's what I'm going to soak my sponge fingers in, okay? So it's kind of a, it's kind of a classic recipe that what you would normally use is masala wine, but I'm going to use, um, I've used the uh, coffee liqueur and the vodka because it's got that sort of twist to things. Right, so I've got my espresso, it's got the crema on the top. Now, the thing to remember when you're doing this is that you don't want soggy biscuits. Nobody likes soggy biscuits, right? So, you need to just do it in cold coffee and you need to be quick. If you leave it in too quickly, this is a sponge, it will suck in that coffee. So it's like, you with me? Drop it in, drop it over, that's it. It's literally that fast. So it's just going in, dropping it over there and dropping it in. Now, this is a real-time recipe. It's something that we came up with on FoodTube, 
where it means that there's no edits, there's no stopping, I've got to talk non-stop for 15 minutes. Actually, it's probably going to be about seven minutes. Um, and then, so we've just got, and so I can't mess up at all now. So I'm just breaking my biscuits because I want a good, even mixture on the bottom. Okay, so that's my first load of biscuits down. Now, I'm going to get my mixture in. Now, Millie did a great job because it's really nice and firm. It's got the beautiful coffee liqueur in, so just drop it in. And then, what I'm going to do is, with a side, I'm just going to twist the bowl round and just push it out. Now, what I like to do, I like to be able to see the different layers when I do a uh, tiramisu. And so, what I do is, is I just make sure that I don't force it down all over the place. I don't mind there being a few gaps, um, but what I try to do is try not to get too much on the side. Right, that's that done. Now I'm going to give it a bit of a seasonal vibe. You know, we're in autumn, we're coming up to the party season, and so orange is a big flavor, is, is a big color and it's a big flavor. You've got pumpkin, I've got these clementines here, which is just a great thing to punk that sort of espresso martini tiramisu that I'm doing. Now, if you're doing a regular tiramisu, you could use these as well. It's a great garnish, but it adds a beautiful flavor. And so I'm just gonna just put this in. And what, it, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it down the sides first because I want people to be able to see that because it really helps with the presentation. So that's that guy in. And then I'm gonna give it a dust of cocoa powder. Again, it goes down the side. And then I go again with my sponge fingers. Now, let's, what I'm gonna do is, I need another, uh, another volunteer. Come on, who's coming forward? Right, in you come, come on. Round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Who are you? I'm Philip. Look at these guns. <laughs> You're bloody awesome. Oh, where did you get them from? I bought these the other day. You brought them the other day? Yeah. Right, okay, you've you seen what I'm doing? I Crack on. Okay, now, quickly as well, yeah. Big. <laughs> okay, right, so, now what I also did is I took the peel off one of these last night, and this is a great way to sort of uh, help with presentation, to do something a little bit snazzy, but also, what's great about it is, is it sort of concentrates flavour. So what I did is, is that I took the peel off, and then I got a knife, and I just very thinly cut off the pith. Now the pith is, is really bitter. It's actually got pectin in, and pectin is what you use in jams and marmalade to get them to set. It's a natural setting agent. But I got that off because it's quite bitter. And then what I did is I just whacked it in the oven, at like gas mark 50, for about, Gone with the cream. Don't mess it up, yeah, because okay. there's like 100 people watching. Okay. It'd be awkward. Okay. okay, no pressure, no pressure. And so I just put it in the fridge for about. Um, sorry, I put it in the oven for uh, for about I don't know an hour at uh, gas mark 50, and then just took it and then just turned it off and left it in there, and it's become incredibly brittle. And so what's great about this is is it could it's orange crisps essentially and what you can do is, is you can blitz it down and use it as an orange dust and because it's had all the moisture evaporated out of it it's incredibly orangey so it's gonna so i'm going to use that as a garnish later now let's have a look here it's not too bad he's done all right hasn't he come on you lot give him a bit of encouragement <laughs> They're a tough crowd, aren't they? they are. Right, okay, okay. Right, it's, it's good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So let's go. Now, now, you can see the layers at the side. I'm very impressed. Okay, it's good. It's good. So, what do you do when you're not cooking? Um, I've got textile towel. Textile? Textile towel. It's an app. Okay, okay. What? Oh, it's an app? Yeah. I've Tell got... us about the app uh, very quickly. <laughs> it's a nutritional app. Uh, brings transparency to food labels and allows people to understand what's in their food. London Food Tech Week, people. It's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I would stay with the app because you've got the... Uh, the... Okay, good man. Another round of applause, please. Ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Right, okay. So, now I could bore you. I'm going to do two more, la two more layers, but I'm going to stop that now because I don't want you to get bored. So, you do two more layers and you put more filling in. Now, this is another important tip when you're making a tiramisu. It's not the sort of thing that you would make and serve a couple of hours later. It's so important that you leave it in the fridge to stay overnight so all the ingredients get to know each other. So last night, I made this little beauty. And just look at him. He's just, hello. 
So that's beautiful, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to do a couple of cool little garnishes to go on it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my orange crisps. I'm going to leave two of them. Let's keep three. And the rest are going in there. So let's just get that. They're just going to go into this mini blender. Now, if you're a fan of Food Busker, or you've seen some of the stuff that I've done on YouTube, you'll recognise this guy. Yeah, we're not good friends, because he let me down on the street when I was doing a real-time recipe. Don't mess with me about today, because you know what happened. Let me know in the comment box below what you think about... What are we calling him? Ken. We're calling him Ken. Right, so I'm going to blitz the living daylight out of the uh, orange. Now remember, no moisture, incredibly brittle. It's going to turn into a really fine dust. So beautiful. Right. So it's like it's like a really cool little garnish that you can do. So let's just get him. I'm just going to do that onto that plate. Now just have a look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely stunning. Now, this is an espresso martini tiramisu. So coffee, coffee, coffee. So these, my friends, are basically coffee coated chocolate beans. Just have a look at them. Absolutely delicious. Let's just check. Tasty? That's it, get it in there. Mm. Tasty? <laughs> tasty? Yeah, you can have it, don't worry. Like, really tasty, yeah? So, got their, their Arabica beans that have been lightly roasted, and then they're covered in really good chocolate. So they're Moorish, and they've got that crack of that coffee. So I'm just going to basically blitz those. Okay, now I've done a rough one because I want some chunks on there. And so, now we've got this wicked situation. Let me just put these over here. Uh, just... Well, you've got chunks and you've got big bits, you've got small bits, and I'm just going to get those introduced onto the top of my tiramisu. And that's got that... It's just so cool because you've got coffee being reinforced. And, and it's like when you do dishes, what you're essentially looking to do is build flavours. And you can build different flavours but you can also reinforce the same flavours in, in different ways so that's what we're doing here so then we've got our orange crisps which I'm just going to sort of do a sort of new age something I don't know what I'm doing there basically but then I just get my orange crisps and just put those on the top and then suddenly you've just got this really beautiful seasonal espresso martini uh, tiramisu that's ready come on let's hear it yeah. come on <laughs> now if you're a fan of Food Busker, then you know that what happens next. I cook on the street, people try my food, and then I ask them what they would pay for them. Now, we're here at the Hoxton Hotel in Shoreditch, and so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take it to, to that lot there, but normally I've got to tell you what it is. So can you all just turn around, please? Just turn around. I can see you with the camera. Turn around. Just come over here. Just come over here. God, they're so obedient. Uh, right, now, I reckon it's three quid. So let's see what the people at the Hoxton Hotel will pay for it. Right, okay, right, okay. So now, you can turn back round now, you lot. I forgot you were actually watching it on your phone, so it doesn't, that doesn't really work, does it? Not so clever, huh? Okay, so, now I'm just going to go down, I'm going to get some... Now just come, look, just come and have a look at that. Just look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's infused overnight, all those flavours have got to know each other. You've got the beautiful mixture. Oh, come on. These people are so lucky. Okay, so I'm just going to get a load of trifle rallied up. Let's get here. And then we're going to take it out there to the hotel rooms of the Hoxton Hotel. I'm not sure if we're allowed in the other. And let's see what people will pay for my espresso martini tiramisu. Uh, can I get some respect for my waiting skills? Come on. <laughs> Okay, right. Now, they've had a lot of love, so can we go this way? Is that okay? Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Who wants one? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, right, there you go. Help yourself there. Which one This one here, this one here, this one here. Oh, don't take that one. Right, and then take a spoon. Take a spoon. Come on. Do you know each other? Now we do. Would you like to? Let's do it, yeah. Okay, okay, right, go on and get involved. Right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We get all the layers. That's all I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Tasty? Very, very nice. Espresso martini delicious? Yes, lovely. What would you pay for a full one? 350. 350. Uh, 450. 
See, they, see, they, they know how it works, right? Come on, here we go. Come on, come on, Katie, get in there. Thank you. Spoon. Thank you. Come on, spoon. Thank you. Kate, come on. You're sandwiched in between the pair of them. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> right, come on, get involved. Well, okay, you, so you can go on. You're allowed to share as well. All right, there we go. Isn't this nice? Isn't this nice? It's lovely. Right, okay. So, espresso martini tiramisu. Let's start over here. How much would you pay for a full one? I pay. Five fifty. See, they're Five nice. They've been nice today. It's a Friday. They're all drunk. Uh, what? Uh, what would you say? Depends how big it is, but maybe a fiver. See, total man answer there. <laughs> all about size, right? What are you saying? Fiver. Fiver. Uh, six pounds. Six pounds. You, you can come for Christmas. <laughs> That's right. Last one. Last one. Here he is. He's my brother. Can I have a round of applause for my brother? Okay. Separated at birth. Right. Okay. Ego, bro. Get stuck in. Where are you from? Northern Ireland. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm from the black country. I think very good. Good it's very good country as well. Very good. Right, okay. Get involved. Tasty? Mm. Lovely. I just want to check for beard oil. <laughs> Don't worry. To improve on, on that. Um, what would you pay for a full one? Uh, six quid. Six quid. Come on. Yeah. Food Buskers absolutely smashed it. Now, we need to sign up. Are we going this way? Right, come on. Come on. It's so nice. You're so quiet, though. You're all so British. Shocking. Shocking. Right, okay. There you go. Get involved. Right. So that was that was our live show today on Food Tube. I've been the Food Busker. We are at the, the wonderful, beautiful Hoxton Hotel for Food Tech Week, London Food Tech Week. It's been emotional. Uh, you just got to make this for Christmas. I love you. See you later. Woo!